this thing about gray is the whole concept of gray is nonsense. And I'll tell you why. I just uh, did that little posting with Greisman about uh, him being grilled by a bunch of uh, uh, journalists about what have you done? Where is your Marshall Plan? Well, here, here's the whole question. An oligarch, such as we know who, the, who calls himself president now, who got there and got to the top position. And you have to understand a guy who has been a member of every political party that ever existed. He is the father and now the grandfather of the Region Party. Um, they just passed a, uh, a law on, on Donbass, which is very controversial. Uh, is he doing things for the interest of Ukraine? I can't see it being done. In all these years, he has so many acquaintances, so many connections on a political level. Being an oligarch himself, he's connected with the rest of them also. He simply, in his election, when he says, And everybody went for that. Everyone thought that he was actually going to start being, this guy might be a good president. In other words, that just can't happen. He also has a lot of black spots. He was an opportunist, like the whole, like, Chernovenko, Chern, 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 I forgot that guy's name, his little buddy there. All of them took the opportunity. They grabbed it. They will justify anything and everything. And you and I know that anyone who breaks any law is, is innocent until proven guilty. Now, the least he could have done, if not put in a few oligarchs in jail and start bringing down the system, is to create an independent judicial system. He has not done that either because the judicial system works for him. Everything works for him, the oligarch, not him, the president. Because if he acted like a president, the first thing he would have done is created an independent judiciary system. And in any of these guys who are political, whatever you call them, like some of the names you have mentioned, they're playing this game. They're so into try to justify and, and find dig into the logic. Why is this guy doing this and that? And they're looking for pros and cons. It's really, you don't have to dig that deep. It actually is black and white. An oligarch who becomes a president has made absolutely no moves, has taken no positions on behalf of the regular citizen. Number one, the judiciary system, independent judges, putting some of his people in jail. He knows which ones he can put into jail. That would have little effect on him. Now, there's others that he wouldn't dare put into jail because they'll just destroy his business. So he's not serving people. The only way that people can ever be served is through an independent judiciary system. That's the only fighting chance these people have. He's done nothing about it. And Groisman is another one. That's his cool or whatever. It's all part of the compact. He has, does not have a master plan for building the economy. Pokazuke, as I said last time, of course, some roads are being fixed. But if you saw the, how they're being fixed, you got construction guys standing there in plastic sandals that we buy at the dollar store. Their toes exposed. They don't have any proper clothing. They don't have helmets. There's a whole bunch of things involved. So they just grab guys. I mean, the public is disposable. This guy chops off a few of his toes. We got another few that will work for next to nothing. We all know of the stories of people like my cousin working for half a year has not seen pay. Where will she go? To the police? And who, the, who are the police going to charge? And where is where are all the mechanisms in place to protect the regular person? That's the first thing a president should have done. All of them in the last 20 years. Going right back to number one, Crouch and Cole and on. But none of them have done that. And they all got wealthy and they're all moving on. And they've sued. They've taken over pretty well everything of any value in the country. And they're just waiting to pass the right land reform. So with all the money they've stolen, they can steal the rest of the country and then push everybody off the, the land. Because where are these people going to go? They have no jobs. So there is no gray zone. There, there, it's really a hard question for Poroshenko. Where is the independent court system? That's number one. Because without that, there will never be any changes. And there will not be investments into the country. Investments are afraid of coming into the country because they have no legal recourse. The whole court system is not independent. It's corrupt, run by the oligarchs, and the president is one. And the, and the prime minister is one also, maybe a little one, but he's in the same, he's in everyone's pocket. Too. So end of discussion for Mr. Whoever it is there in his gray zone. It starts and ends with independent court system. What I told you last time was a comparison of two years ago to now. 
my trip, looking at friends and people, and some people I didn't know well. Where were they? Where are they? And I basically gave you the it's not getting better situation story. But what I just told you is a very simple argument. Can an oligarch be a president? And it's an absolute no. There is no way because they have to protect their interests. They will create gray zones. But those are to masquerade what's really going on. That's that uh, facade the magician does. You, you, you're seeing things happening, but actually nothing's happened, you know? Um, you know, it's like the magician who has three ropes of different lengths, and at the end, he ties them together and creates one rope, and then he makes it into one loop. And you've seen it happen before your eyes, but in, in your mind, you really know that there are still three ropes of three different lengths. And this is exactly what this gray zone, these um, political analysts who like to sit there and throw shit around. I mean, there's nothing really to throw around. You know, and I know. Right now, you and I, Vasig, if we have any kind of issues with City Hall, uh, provincial level government, uh, question, uh, question versus racial comments or this or that, we end up in court. But at least you and I know we go to an independent judicial system where whatever the decision is, and we have a defense lawyer, a real defense lawyer that hasn't been bought by someone. I mean, that's to be the system, an independent judicial system. And defense lawyers. There's so many bad things we can say about them, but I mean, even uh, uh, I mean, that's basically you remove the defense lawyer uh, line, and we don't have a judicial system. Even if it's independent, we don't have a defense. That's what Ukraine does not have. And until a president brings those two things in, there you only have oligarchs. You don't have a president. You don't even have a constitution that works. It's not working. Nothing's working, and that's why they're, uh, you've got, all you have is oligarchs who continue to steal. And whatever they're throwing to the people, as Mr. Modal says, you know, I see things happening, whatever. Sure, but all those things can be snatched away so quickly because there's really nothing there to anchor down any of the development. There's absolutely no master plan for, the, like, uh, the Marshall Plan in Germany to bring up industry and revive the industry. Ukraine, they talk about the agricultural uh, sector in Ukraine, how powerful it is. Well, yeah, it is, but it's all being taken over by large agri uh, uh, agricultural companies. But on the other hand, what have they done about the industry? We also have a fent had a fent uh, Ukraine's old industry. Right now, there's probably nothing left. You had the Antono, the, the rocket building industry. You, we keep seeing all these wonderful videos on Ukraine's great tanks and armaments and and it goes on and on, but our soldiers are half naked and unequipped on the front. But the stuff is being we hear about. There's been Ukraine's one of the largest exporters of uh, of weaponry, and yet they're over here asking for help from the American government, etc. But when you look at some of these things, you go, "Holy geez, you guys shouldn't have any problem defending anything from anyone." You know, they just not it's not adding up. So the president is there for the bucks. They scoop it up. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how. I understand that everything has to come into the government coffers, just like all the land that they're renting out to the big agri-firms. I mean, they are the owners. And how these things then get redistributed and shuffled, one thing we do know is that it doesn't end up with the people. And they see all these things going on, and yet they're being poor and poor. And that's all there is to it. So an oligarch's an oligarch. An oligarch could never be a president. Wasn't Sathe Mikolai a rich guy from a very rich family and gave up all his wealth and became St. Nicholas, right? So if the president wants to be a president, he's got to become a constitutional president. And the first thing the law says is get rid of his businesses, which he hasn't done. And that's just a very simple thing. So the first guy who should be locked up is him. And he says, "Najbližšího druhá u tyrmu posadě, right? To tam my malí sebe posadě te pěšu, bo víne, to nejde po konstituci. And him even quoting the constitution at any time, he doesn't have that because he's the first guy who's uh, trampled all over it. And if there was an independent judiciary system, he wouldn't get away with it. That's and that's the key. He wouldn't be getting away with the things he'd been getting away if there was an independent judiciary system, because constitution would then work." The Constitution doesn't work. The president continues to be an oligarch. And all we have is pokazuke and gray zones that really are not much of anything.
without a master Marshall Plan, which Mr. Groisman is supposed to be coming up, because it's the job of the Prime Minister to build the economy and tell the people, Well, it's repeated, repeated, Anyways.